Yeah, we are in a minute. We will be. Like you want to play the song now? Uh, you want me to play the song first? That works too. Again, 888-289-3315. Wait, did you do my intro? Come and join yeah. us as we move out in the community to unleash the potential that lies within these ladies. Again? Nick, call. What's that, sweetie? Listen, my sister-in-law. Oh, hi. Right. I will be key. I will um, continue to use my voice for you guys to make sure everything is okay. <laughs> the interpreter still is going to leave right now. So. Hey, Kristen. Lizzie. This is just a start. Let me see how things come on from here. So I hope everything is good on your end. So on your first part, I got more interviews coming on for the rest of this month and next month. Blah. But I can't wait. It's exciting. So, form your plans, let me know what's up, what's going on. If I mess up by my son, forgive me. Forgive me too, because it's hard. It's hard to talk and sign at the same time. Daddy. Girl, yes. Oh, Jesus. So what's up with you guys? Come on, let me see what's happening. You see? <laughs> what's up, Nicole? What's up, brother? How you doing? Nicole's online now. Hi, Nicole! What's up? I hope you are able to come. Don't worry, bro. Oh, yes, I'll take a deep breath. <laughs> All right, can you make it louder? Sorry, we can... That's... He picked. Oh. oh. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the world is a radio station. I don't do radio. This is my first time. Oh! Well, guess what? First time for everything. I'm hearing the music right now. Yes! Yes! So, forgive me. My first time in the radio station. Time to get there, but yeah. <laughs> on WBGR Online. I'm your host, Pauline Rose Moore, and I have a wonderful, special guest here today, and his name is Wah Wah, yeah, you heard it, W-A-W-A, -A. <laughs> um, but his real name is Warren Snipe, 
And I am just so thankful that he's allowed himself to be my, um, let's see, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, the one I get to use today to show you how walking in the fullness of God and following your purpose and what that looks like in the deaf world because he's deaf and um, it's just so special to be able to share um, it the other way. Do you know what I mean? And so he's going to voice because our interpreter, she's sick and we don't want to get, so, we, we don't want her, her, her germs to be spreading through here. We, we're, not trying, we're not trying to get sick. So it's he, such a blessing, blessing, blessing. It's a blessing. A, a, amen. I, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to agree with that. So thank you. Because if you were, you know, deaf, like capital D E A F, I would be like, you know, like you, I would, I would be struggling because it's always harder. Well, to, I think I am. Capital D. No, no, no. Meaning that if you could not read my lips. Oh, you're talking about. Or if you okay. could not voice for yourself. Mm -hmm. Meaning if you were all the way, what it was, deaf quote, this, you know, this, 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 this mm -hmm. straight up, it would be a lot more difficult for me because it's funny because I can go voice to sign easier than to mm -hmm. go sign back to voice because I'll forget that the, the hearing people are there. Okay. Does that I, make see sense? You. I see you. I see you. I'm grateful to him. Yeah. So culturally, he is capital deaf, D E A F. And proud. And proud. Praise. Do you hear that? His identity. Okay. His identity. He knows who he is. And so, welcome. Share who you are. And and what? No, no. Don't just share just the one gift. Okay. I want you to share all of the gifts. Okay. I, I honestly, I. Really don't like talking about myself, but I will do as much as I can. Good. Okay. Right now is your opportunity. You are going to talk about yourself, and then I will go ahead and praise you because I'm just so proud of you. <laughs> don't praise me. Praise him. He's the one who gave it to me. Amen. That's it. That's the bottom line. Amen. Um, I was born. I'm Warren Snipe. Everyone calls me Wawa. My son name is Wawa. Um, I was born and raised in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I have two sisters. I'm the oldest, and um. I'm the only deaf in the family. That was back then. Not too long ago, I found out I had deaf relatives in my family. Yeah. yeah. And you know, I'll, I'll get to that point. Okay. So, but it's interesting. Um, I was born deaf, and I found out later on, after I finished graduating from college, that I was deaf by heritage. Mm. My grandfather had two sisters, one brother. One brother who was deaf. Um, that was mind-blowing, because... We had no idea. We thought something was wrong um, when I was born. Maybe it was a medical uh, condition that I made my born with or anything, something like that. But it's fine, healthy boy. But I was born this way. But my family didn't know what to do, what to say, what resources there was there for my family. And so um, my grandmother was like, okay, you simply have to, you simply have to um, deal with it. So my mother was like, ah, he's deaf. Will he be able to speak? Will he be able to hear? Will he be able to do anything that a normal hearing person is able to do? Now, you have to understand, back in the days in the 70s, yes, I'm that old. 70s. <laughs> he looks young. Don't even, don't even ignore, ignore that. Age is nothing but a number. Amen. Okay. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I went through a whole lot of things where... My mother really scrambled to find resources, help for a person in my situation. She could have gave me up, but she didn't. Um, but my family, I mean, they they helped my mom. You no, know, single mom. She used to work three jobs to raise three of us. So this is one of the reasons why I give glory to the Lord, who does a lot for me. Um, I went to a hearing school. I was. What people would say was mainstream, actually, I was just a young person mm. and all hearing. So I didn't know any signs until I started college. Um, and I started college early, 16, 17 years old. You were 16 years old when 16, you began 17. college? Oh, you. 16, 17 when That's I started brilliant. college. Yeah. Okay. Um, I learned signs there. And but before I graduated, I, I, I was, um, I thought, you no, know, just go to college, find something what to do. Mm -hmm. But then my English teacher was explaining to me that there are people like me, hard hearing deaf, mm -hmm. in the world. Mm 
And all I grew up all thinking, no, no way. Hmm, no way. It's impossible. So you never saw any other death while you were growing up? That At that time, that was the concept that I had. Mm. But when I started college, I remember seeing two or three people who I knew when I was little. Mm. And I went to school with them. I never knew that they were that, but they knew that I was that. That is so interesting. They knew son, not me. So, you see the parallel? It's mm -hmm. a pattern when you meet this time. Years later, you part away, meet at college. Then next thing you know, oh, you were here all along. I never knew. New identity. Right. And mm -hmm. back then, I didn't know who exactly who I was, you know. I mean, that or hard of hearing, or which category, what group I belong to. Mm -hmm. And that, that was the struggle. That was hard. Um, speech therapy, I've never really had that growing up. My mom and my grandmother are the two people who taught me how to speak. Really? That's it. Honestly. That That's it. Wow. Well, I can tell you one thing. Um, if you are hearing him and he sounds clear, like, um, you know, they have what they call deaf speech, and sometimes it can be a little bit more difficult um, for someone who's not trained to hear deaf speech, but he sounds very, very well, so. Thank you. you it's, not, it's not easy, um, but um, just to clarify, not every deaf person has the ability to speak, or the men chose not to speak. Yes, so, I know that. Because this sound is really, really important. We want to be able to educate the hearing environment. Mm -hmm. This is our culture. Mm -hmm. This is our world. We've been born in your world. We were raised in your world. Why not you step in the house and see what's like? You see that? You hear, you hear what he's saying? He's saying that even though he's here now, he's deaf soul, he has a deaf soul, why not you know, open your heart and be willing to hmm, learn something, meet a deaf person, and, um, you know, let go of those, those walls of fear. Because is there anything really to be afraid of? I mean, look at him. Wah, wah. Do you see him? Can he not do anything that <coughs> you hearing people, that we hearing people can't do? Yes, they have some jobs, you know, the military, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and depending upon if they have a cochlear implant or not. Well, I have a cochlear implant, and I don't think it matters if the person has a hearing aid or a cochlear implant or anything. If he's deaf, he has the skill, he or she can do it regardless. It takes, they may have to work twice or three times or four times harder to get there, but they can do it. And no, I'm I've talking about that. like some like things you just can't do. Like I know um, one of the things someone shared with me that's like scuba, like deep See scuba diving? Is that something with your cochlear implant you can do? Or maybe like um, roller coaster rides? Roller coaster? New splash. Yeah. Yeah, you can. What? That, see that? Educate me. Okay. Okay. I grew up with hearing aids all my life. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, when I started college, mm -hmm. my hearing just started going down. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I was already involved with the music game. And I've been in the music game for a long time. Okay. Okay. Um, performing, professionally dancing, choreography, traveling, performance all over the world, mm -hmm. just about. Um, as through my years at college, got going down, and uh, I had, I felt, you know, what I'm going to do. You know, is this a sad thing? Is it a bad thing? Or what would I do? But I was involved in with the music game, mm -hmm. and I had a message. I had so much to show, and I really, really wanted to show the world what it's like, what a deaf person can do. It's the music world, music industry, it's not funny, it's not easy, they're mean, okay? They're straight up mean. But, this is a barrier I like to challenge. I mean, for me, that barrier is, is saying, okay, you're saying I can't. He says I can't. Amen. I'm going to go through if I make a crack, it's fine. Be that little you, dent, that little dent. Right. But then that means someone behind you will do what? Push it on. Bust it open. Push it on. Okay. Push it open. So, um, yes, I knew it was going to be a long climb. I knew it was going to be hard. I knew it was going to be a struggle. Mm -hmm. But I paid gladly. I mean, because if this was given to me, 
what right do I have to keep it to myself? So, I got it. Um, it's climbing. I go through all the frustrations, I go through all the barriers, all the people turn me down, all the insults and stuff, all the heckling, and believe me, I've been through a lot of heckles. But if that door opens up, and I'm in there, it's not about me. It's for his glory. That's one thing. That's the honest thing. The second thing is, when people see what I do, okay, you see what I'm doing? Great. Look at the people who are better than me. I'm not asking for an applause. I'm not asking for a pat on the back. I'm not asking for anything. I just want to see people saw. So that barrier is gone. I'm like, yep. Next. What's next? <laughs> <laughs> That's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. He's right at now. the place of just sheer obedience. He's just walking mm. in obedience. And every door that opens, he knows is not for him. It may be for someone else, but the point is um, his purpose, his, you know, his birth, well, inside of him, you know, I, be, I believe that all of us have this creative thing, right? We were all created by the one who created the heavens and the earth. Mm -hmm. And I say that often because it's so important and we all have creativity. Mm -hmm. So he has to. He doesn't have a choice. I mean, he has a choice. Mm -hmm. But he would not live if he did not use his creative gifts, mm -hmm. right? So he decided, you know what? Well, I want to live. I choose life. L-I-F-E. And so because he's chosen life, he must honor. He must just, you know, follow through with whatever God gives him. He says, okay, write this song. Okay, Lord. Right now, I want you to go to that place. Mm -hmm. Okay, God. Yeah. And that's and that's it. Oh, well, sometimes I fight. <laughs> I fight. That's the honest. You I know mean, what? That's the honesty right there. I look and I'm thinking, hey, are, you, are you sure about this? I mean, uh, look at me. You know, I'm about to, um, but that kind of, but for me, here, for me to be here is really a blessing mm -hmm. because um, um, I came to Christ just eight years ago, and I was born and raised mm -hmm. Jewish. Oh wow! My whole family. Wow. Yeah, born and raised Jewish. Oh yeah, yeah, black Jews out there. Yeah, I, I, I black know. Black Jews are everywhere. I'm a Seventh Day Adventist, and the first thing people ask me is, <coughs> "Are you Jewish? Because you worship on Saturday." And I'm like, "No, but I understand." Yeah. I had my my bar mitzvah, my bar mitzvah. I had what? all. What you had all that? Are you yeah. serious? Well, I had all that. That is. I you, loved it. Yo, those were the best parties though. I ain't, I'm not. Oh I'm not gosh. gonna lie. Like I've I thought to. I was rich. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was rich. No, <laughs> <laughs> my bar mitzvah. Um, <laughs> but um, yes, I'm born and raised Jewish. Mm -hmm. I'm proud, still proud of my Jewish culture. Mm -hmm. So, um, accepting Christ eight years ago was, wow. Transformational? You can't describe it. Um, your testimony, which you go through, the motion, the things that you experienced before and after, really huge. So, again, yeah, you can't really, you, well, you can describe it, but the feeling, I want to, I want people to feel what I'm feeling, you know, that. So that's just really hard to do. But, um, yeah, what I do right now is for his glory. I mean, it's much as what I'm doing. I mean, I work in the darkness, and then I saw this quote. I work in the darkness, mm -hmm. but I live in the light. Okay. So, yeah, that's a struggle. That's a constant struggle. That's fine. But for me, in the, in the hip-hop world, the science, hip-hop, hip-hop. I didn't even know that. That's dope. I love yeah, hip-hop, too. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I do that. I do that all, all the time, and never knew that was the real science. That's interesting. Okay. <laughs> well, I created um, hip hop, which is hip hop. That's not the hip hop. Means hip hop through deaf eyes. Mm. So you see that? Yeah, yeah, y'all, y'all at home. See y'all up there. Y'all copy that, okay? Copy that. Cool. And um, what I do through my music is what we do. It's um. I mean, it's sort of like a magic kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You have the red pill, you have the blue pill. <laughs> if you want to take the red pill, you come into our world, see what's like. Wow. We have to death our hip hop world, what it's like. If you want the blue pill, just stay where you want to stay. 
not know what's happening. That's all. You are woke. Mm -hmm. You are deprogrammed <laughs> about that culture. Yeah. What people think that people can't do this, can this, 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 whatever. Is it better? I mean, can you want to no. bring it closer? No, no. Okay, cool. Okay. Thanks. Just to make sure, I want to be able to <laughs> break down, distort a lot of myths that a lot of people think about the Dutch culture. I mean, some people actually thought we are abomination. We're cursed, and you know, a lot of different things. Now, the biggest problem right now in the church community, what is the temple, the, the Mecca, church, tabernacle, whatever you go to, that people are almost always excluded. Mm -hmm. So we have to fight. Why? If we're brother and sister in Christ, or you're Muslim, or you're Jewish, what part of your family? Why do you exclude us? People, that's the problem right now. Um, like, uh, do you look at um, Leviticus? Mm -hmm. I think it's 1914, 14, 19, 81. You know, don't let um, the death stumble, stuff like that. So, I mean, you can't ignore them. Go to everyone. The great command, what Jesus has said, Love. it applies to all. So, this is what happens. Um, we get excluded, but we constantly have to fight. Okay. Have you ever seen us giving up? Have you ever heard God said, oops? If he says this, why not we doing it? This is when I, that's one thing that's been weighing on me. Then the hip hop world, it's kind of proud to me not to show you what we have. I mean, I explained about what things are missing in the hip-hop world in the old days compared to today. It's very different. I'm talking about family, life, love. I'm talking about some silliness, deaf cultures, playing about different views. Um, my team, oh, it's amazing. Nick Carr, and he's out there watching. Nick Carr, I see you. are supposed to be here today. You should have had off from work. I don't, I don't know what's up with that, but it's okay. I, I forgive you. I got you, bro. So, but Nikar and I, um, we go back maybe three, four years ago. Um, I had a show. You met him the same time I met him. I, I met um, Nikar in um, in 2009. Oh, really? At Gallaudet. Yeah. Oh, okay. We were um, at, well, in, in graduate school together, and so that's how I knew him. And um, our other homie, um, you know Ryan, Rain? Yeah. Yeah, those were my two <laughs> that's boys. That's my boy. <laughs> yeah, I was always, they will tell you, we, we were strong. We went every, like, everywhere. They're like, okay. And there was another guy, um, he went to, where is he now? He lives in Texas, and so I was always with the three of them. Oh. But uh, we had a good, good, good fun back when. So to see him now doing what he loves, like, it's, like, it inspires me. So when people see me, they're like, you inspire me because you're just doing whatever you're just doing. You're just doing. <laughs> yeah, but there are other people who are also doing. Yeah. And so yeah. this is amazing. This. But before I allow you to continue, because when we come back, um, we have to take a little short uh, commercial. Uh, we are going to have our creative corner, and that's where he will share his uh, creative gift for all of you. And he's brought his awesome album. We're going to allow him to uh, demonstrate something for y'all, okay? And uh, yeah, so you are listening to Pauline Rosemore on WBGR online, and uh, I'll see you soon. Oh. You can talk. You can see who comments or whatever. But this is just for the hearing. Yeah, you want some water? Is your car returning from an off road? So, I get it. Come on, I got you the designated driver for your child's prom day. Come on in. Bring your car in for the makeover. Yeah, that's dope. See your business service center located at 9781. All right, hey everybody. Can y'all hear us? I'm going to read the comments now. Contact us at 301 459 5400. Miss Candy, no problem, sweetie. I'm glad to be there for you. Or look us up on the web at Seabrook yeah. Blue. 3840. So, what's up? Yeah, try. Bo! What's up, brother? So <laughs> Good to see you, brother. You can play it. Bo is my personal, I have my laptop. My personal um, trainer. Awesome. Who? 
Oh, my husband's a love person, Trina. Sean, what's up, bro? Thanks for the talk. We got to talk more, definitely, Sean. Proud of you, too. Okay, I mean, hi, sweetie. Judy, good to see you. Ah, Margie. Love you. What's up, Billy? Bo, I'm great, brother. How you feeling? Hope that thing good on you. And I will see you when I get back for workout again. Uh. I'm going to kick my butt again. Yeah, it's my personal trainer. Oh, Whoa, honey. Awesome. You need a personal trainer? Get this guy. My husband Sorry. Don Holland back. Love you. Good to see you. Blessing and prosperity indeed. Hi, Felicia. How are you? Love you too, dear. Let's take a little break. La May. Kimmy, I always say your name. <laughs> Annapolis Road on the corner of Annapolis Road, Route 450, and Cooper Lane, Landover Hills. Hi, Jessica. Oh yeah, Bob. Yes, I know. I'm in trouble. I know I'm in trouble. <laughs> You're an inspiration for me, bro. Big time. Hi, Amy. Thanks. I can't wait to see more of you guys. Yeah, there's so much I got to spread out for you guys. Not about me. It's for you guys. Amy. Carl. Paul, how you doing, bro? Michael Carter. Mike. Yeah, I miss Vermont, too. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Wow. Good people. How long is the um, commercial? Wow, oh, do you keep track of the time with that? Yeah, you gotta keep track of everything. Right. Both are goddess great. Definitely. Chad from Canada, all the way from Newfoundland, Canada. What's up, brother? How you doing? Chad, it's good to see you. Oh, thank you so much. 30 seconds. Alright, uh, we got 30 seconds. <coughs> Come back. Do I need to give you the CD? Um, the first CD. That's that. Name of the song called All That Flat. What track? Which one? What number? Um, I don't know. Hey, everyone. Welcome 14, back. 15. You can look you are listening to Paul Lee Rose sure. Moore on WBGR online. And ah, we've had a cool, cool, cool experience so far. Um, I am with um, our special. Oh, I know, I know. It's really bad. We're, we're working on this technology. This technology thing is so like interesting because there's so many moving parts, okay? <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but yeah. So we, I'm with um, here with a uh, Wawa, and he's just been blessing us, giving us some death <coughs> history, <laughs> some death knowledge. He's been teaching me a few things, sharing about his <coughs> love and passion for music. Um, what else? Oh, for music, acting, uh, you, he, he is just an art lover, right? You, he, just, he just, he just loves, loves art. And so I will, um, and he can discuss some things about the church, like how to, um, why deaf or not in the church, you know, um, he talks about the importance of us as hearing people, you know, we have the power, right? That's, that's really, we, we have the privilege. And so the only way for deaf people to truly, you know, reach the top is if who opens the door? Yes. Who, who, who needs to open the door? Who needs to open their heart so they can start to see the person um, be genuine, right? Mm -hmm. To see them for who they are as a soul and not just someone to be ostracized, you know? By themselves, isolated on um, their own little, <coughs> you know, planet. Because we have everything, you know. We have um, being, especially, you know. 
Okay, I'm going to be honest with y'all, okay? Mm-hmm. You know who really, really upsets me? It's a black person with power. The black church, you know? And it's because we are already in a, an oppressed group, right? Definitely. So for us to oppress someone else, it's like, are you serious with your life? You should understand, right? So... <coughs> You know, and, and and I say this, and and I'm and I'm I'm direct about this. I'm I'm literally bold about this. That we have to do a better job, and um, to be a better witness for deaf souls because they they have a place in the body too. Yeah, I mean, I I also I think it's about the approach to how you some people do it. I mean, people say, "Oh, I feel sorry for you. You're going to hell." Like, you know, you decide that. He decides that. Which one? Okay. Um, the approach is really important. How do you know? Cater out to deaf community. That's why many deaf maybe don't go to church. Maybe not provide interpreters for what we needed. Some churches would say, oh, you're deaf. You just sit in the front. We just give you braille. <laughs> you hear what he said? Braille. Well, that, that's for blind people. Okay. <laughs> deaf people, they, 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 don't, they don't even know braille. I mean, unless you're blind. Unless they're deaf blind. You know, maybe they have right. ushers or something. But yeah, that's real. It's all happens. So, but um, when you have some deaf churches out there, there's the bomb, it's the community, it's the sky. But you know, when you meet some deaf brother and sister in Christ, it's <sighs> unbelievable, amazing story they explain. And when they explain about the gospel, I mean, through <clears throat> sign, it's like mind blowing. It's like, wow, I get it. Now I get it. Why we only knew, knew about this before, you know? And it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm chill. <laughs> he got he got the goosebumps all the way up the arms. Um. Okay. So right now we are going to have our creative corner, and um, I I always want our guests to come and either show us to demonstrate something in their creativity or to teach us something about their creativities. Because if you are new interested in walking the walk in um hip hop right <laughs> or um just 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 being faithful to the call that you have on your life um it's it's always good to have someone show us right and in this today he's the the deaf disciple right so all y'all deaf people out there who are watching um, just know that it is possible. Oh, definitely it's possible. Um, so go ahead. I mean, you have, which, which one did you say it was? Well, the name of the song is called All That's Left. All That's Left, yes. Okay. Um, let me explain a little bit more. Yeah, he can go ahead and explain, explain, explain. Let me fix okay. this a little bit. The song is called All That's Left. Um, we performed this at Kentucky Death Festival. Champ play. Every two years, it's a death festival. Every two years, you guys got to go. That's the place to go. My wife was able to perform with me. That was a blessing. Um, Yeah. It was nice. Um, This song is uh, basically what I went through. It's not sort of like a testimony. Well, it is sort of like that, yeah. And it's it's beautiful. I mean, yeah. I was just interpreting. It's a singing. I'm not the singer. I'm a rapper. So just keep that in mind. And so, if you were to play the music, you might have to crank it up. Thank you. Who is there? Um, that's Enoch and Felicia. Hi, sister. And um, whoever else is there? Oh, Cami. She's deaf, so Cami lives in um Hawaii. Yeah. Cammy? Yeah. Yes. You know her? Yeah. Yeah, she's sweet, so she's watching. Mm-hmm. Hey, Angela. Y'all keep talking. I got converted to it. Okay, he's going to... We have to do some uh, some technical things before he um, shares his gifting. So, while we are waiting, um, it'd be really, really cool to talk about um, that thing called balance. Because, all right, he shared a little bit about himself, but... Share about your family because people need to know that he travels a lot. <laughs> I mean, travels a lot. And so I know for myself, when people watch me, they're like, girl, you always doing something. And they want to know, like, how do you do it? 
And I always tell them it's not in my strength, it's in God's strength. Yeah. So tell people how you balance everything because I know it's not easy. Even though we make it, you know, Facebook making everything look easy, right? Because they see pictures and like, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom thing, a happy wife is a happy life. Um, I have three kids. Yes, I travel a lot, and I'm blessed that my wife is also an artist. She's a former dancer, so she understands. She gets it by when I travel, by the things that I do. Um, before we always started out, I told her, "All I need you is to simply trust me." You know, and so that was hard for her in the beginning because, like, home, what things like that. As time comes along, she was not understanding more. Um, she saw the path and she saw what the Lord wanted me to do. And she's one of the biggest rock. She pushes me. I mean, she would talk me. No, this doesn't work. Yes, this work. Sometimes she challenged me. And I like that. You know? And um, she's one of the few people who will help keep me grounded. Uh, my kids, they love art. Dancing. They dance. They do a lot. I mean, they're fun. My son performed with me as well in Kentucky Death Festival as well. Um, that that was fun. Um, we are a family that prays together, stays together. Um, my kids are in Awana. Mm-hmm. It's like um, like a Sunday school. Yeah, so it's fun. It's all year round. We go to the same same Wednesday school. Wednesday doesn't matter. Oh well, at my church at McLean Bible Church. Mm-hmm. It's in, it's only Sunday. Oh, that's that that a huge church with the amazing, amazing special needs ministry. Yes. Y'all, y'all need ministry. to visit, seriously. Jill's house, wow. access ministry. Mm-hmm. Um I attend they have we have many campuses. So I go to one in Loudoun County. Mm-hmm. Loudoun County. So it's great. So Pastor Lon, Pastor Jim stuff. <laughs> wow. Mike Kelsley. Silver Spring, you got to check them. I mean, it's awesome. No, Mike, um, I met him before. Yeah. Yes, a young guy. Yeah, yeah. Yes, light skin. Yes. Yes, he came. Yeah, I, I met him um, at at, um, at Howard University. He, he's awesome. He's awesome. He's yes, awesome. that, wow. But we have a great group of people. That's many there. It's awesome. Mm-hmm. I mean, people are very, very helpful. So I, I, How many deaf? Uh, where I attend, uh, we have about an average of 20 to about 30. That's a lot. Okay, statistic, uh, well, statistic for all of you. Um, 70 million, okay, deaf in the world. Right. And less than 2% know Jesus. They have 20 to 30. 30. Do, you, do, you, do you understand what that means? They have... A huge percentage of death at their church. Mm-hmm. That is amazing. Yeah, so I'll just pray to continue to grow. I'm, um, I am, people. I am praying with you because seriously, uh, seriously, I that's that's my burden. Mm-hmm. You know, you talked about your burden, right? And people always ask me, "Well, how did you get started? I mean, like, why did you do that?" I did not pick this, honestly. <laughs> honestly, I'm gonna tell y'all. Um, my background is in computers, computer information system technology. Okay. And I graduated from my two-year program, and I said, okay, I'm going to study computer science. That's not the way it went. Um, my brothers, I have two that uh, my, you know, same mom, dad, um, they lived in, in, in North Carolina. They said, oh, why don't you come here for school? And I really wanted to leave New York, mm-hmm. that's where I'm from. And I ended up... Um, moving to North Carolina, well, uh, well, looking online, and I saw they had a deaf education, well, education for deaf children program, and I was like, oh, and I remembered, you know, that one memory that kind of come, it just flips <coughs> to the front. Oh yeah, I remember they have this woman, and she she came to my church. She was hearing, but her parents, <coughs> and she said, you know, she was signed this beautiful. I mean, I was just like, oh my gosh, I was so fascinated. And she said, you know, I know that you hearing people think that this is beautiful, but there's a message inside for deaf people. And I'm nosy. I want to know the message, you know? Mm -hmm. And so that was the memory that came back. And I said, I'm going to apply for that program. It was so freaking random. 
it was very random. Exactly. I got accepted, mm -hmm. and I went. My mom told me the day I graduated, she said, Pauline, I never knew that was real. She was like, I didn't, I didn't know that was a real degree. Mm -hmm. Because she, she couldn't understand. It wasn't until she, she came, and I was a student at Gallaudet in the master's program, that she said she had to stay for two weeks. Oh. On Gallaudet's campus. Oh, talking about sensory overload. Home. <laughs> Home. Oh. Overload. Home. In the family housing. Okay? Let me tell y'all. When I tell you, her eyes was open. <laughs> it's like, like, you know, at first I was blind, but now I can see. <laughs> she could see. <laughs> she saw it and realized, like, wow. It's real. These are deaf people. Mm -hmm. I'm the minority. Now, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So she, it forced her to now have this acceptance because Jamaicans, my family in Jamaican, they would always say, oh, deaf and dumb and, you know, whatever. And I'm like, they're, they're not. You have no idea. You don't understand. They have deaf doctors, lawyers, you know. Shout out to um, Claudia Gordon, who, Claudia. You know, yes, met her in 2003. And I was just like, I was like, one of those, she's from Jamaica. So we you know. go way back. Yeah, so, so, you, so you know. Like, I, I was I like, I was just like, oh, awesome. just amazing, you know, to see that because she's a sister. You know, mm -hmm. and so for me, in my program, one of the one, two, three of us, you know, <laughs> black, you know, black girls in this interpretive program. And so we didn't know, you know, we didn't know. It was Naomi, shout out to y'all. Um, they showed me that, um, hey, there's a whole world out here. We here. You can do this, right? Mm -hmm. So right, right now, let's go ahead with the song, okay? He's ready. All right, go ahead. Okay. I'm going to move over. Name of the song is called All That's That.
As for you, amen. Oh my gosh, I want that. <laughs> I, oh, that was so dope. I had a great team who were working with me on this. Wow. I had a great that team. That was so dope. Oh my goodness. Like, for real. Like, that was dope. Who was the vocalist? Who was the singer? Yeah, the girl. Um, that's something that's a surprise about that. Surprise. Yeah, well, this is a young lady who was doing it. So the beat that was doing, um, I got this from a guy named Don Soon. Your name is Daniel Gong. Mm -hmm. And it's Korean. Oh. Okay. okay. So, and the lady was singing on there. Uh, I never got a chance to meet her, but. You never met her? No, no. Oh. I, will, I, will, I would like to meet her one day. Oh, but I had a great writing team and stuff like that, and it was great. I mean, we be having the car who, does, who produced almost the entire album that I had. <laughs> I'm yeah. so proud of you, Nicar. Nicar is oh, I'm, I'm the man. I'm He's the I'm man. Um, I got my boy, Jake Sinatra. Uh, he's an also rapper myself. DM, these are the DMV people, okay? You have Adam E. Adam E. Um, um, for, he's a, his group is called Adam E. Project. Mm -hmm. DMV. He's showing, a, he's showing a, another song for me um, called Taste This Man. It's a strong one. I mean, I had Ada Ovanka. She's off the DMV. She has an album released now that I've got Monsoon, who's a Jamaican artist now. I mean, yeah. This yeah, that was it's hot. hot. It's hot. Okay, so, so, all right. So, I know all of y'all at home are probably like, okay, so when is the album going to? Okay, I have the physicals, and it's released. They're, they're ready right now. The digital, the digital will be on iTunes. Spotify, title, it's um, Amazon. Yeah, this will be out this week. So I'll be announcing it. But if you go to my my fan my fan page, Wow Wow's Wall, there's W A W A S Wall. Instagram, you just simply add the one, the Wow Wow's Wall. Yeah, it's all there. And um, wait wait, wait so wait wait okay so did you hear that we we need to know how to connect with you so <laughs> we have <clears throat> Facebook. Wawa World, right? Okay. So then we have on Insta, right? And we have, we add the one. So it's just Wawa's World with a one. Mm -hmm. And then where else are you? Ah, uh, so let's see. I have my website, which is diphopwawa.com. That's the best website. Diphopwawa.com? Yeah. Okay. He said it's the best. Dip. <laughs> Diphopwawa.com. Yeah, so all that. Uh, yeah, it's just a lot of things that's going on right what now. What else? Come on. I know you got a more than that. Do you have a YouTube channel? YouTube? Uh, yes. Okay. The Wawa's Vision. The Wawa's <laughs> Vision. Because okay. see, if you notice, when I'm saying Wawa World, um, the Wawa's Vision, stuff like that, I'm opening myself to you. I'm just, what I'm doing is, what I want to do is, I want you guys to see the Lord through my work. Yes. I, I want I want to expose that. Mm. I mean, yeah, but this album, of course, it's not a gospel album. It's not. Mm -hmm. My next one would be. But this is not a gospel album. I mean, this is, uh, this is it's different. Inspiring. It's just inspiring, talking about family and life. This is a. Okay, make sure you baby see all of it. Okay. I know it's like so, three phones here. This is how much wait, 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 how much is it? How much is it? Oh, this is a this thing. The physical is fifteen. The reason why I know people saying fifteen, oh my gosh. No, but it's think worth about it. it. I, I can buy it. Shoot. Okay. Oh okay. shit. I'll explain why. It's a double disc. You have fifteen, sixteen songs on the album. And then you have uh, DVD, which is lyric videos, and one official video. The official video is called Vendetta, and that's the an anti-bully song. A lot of bullying is going around there, and I, I grew up being bullied for years. So this song for the people who's gone through a lot, give them a voice. Okay. Um, also, also um, you have the lyric that you can read, and it's like 15 pages. 
Do you know how old good. school oh. that is? That is so O L D S K O L. Bring it back. O O L. Yeah. He has the lyrics. Look, well, yeah, y'all gotta see, y'all gotta see this. So, here you go. This reminds me of like my audio DVD. Look at this. This is so dope. Oh my goodness. If you, you, awesome. you need to buy this. Come on, oh, damn. You, this is like. Oh, who did yeah. the art? Do you see the the picture? <laughs> But that's the fiscal. You only get that what's on the fiscal. When you buy the fiscal one, that's fifteen dollars. You get all that. But a digital, nah. You just get all the audio. So I'm trying to work and improve that more. But I'm just right now. How often do you support deaf and hard of hearing musicians? When do you support? Have you ever ever supported? Have you ever heard of a deaf artist that you needed to support? No, <laughs> probably not. Um, to, 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 to give you a better view of it, in the U.S., there's 300,000 professional musicians. 300,000. Okay? And it's about 3 to 20 million amateurs. That's the U.S. Okay? Around the world, you quadruple it. You quadruple it. Okay? How many deaf do you know? <laughs> professional. That has released an album. Well, I'll give you an answer. Six. There's only six in this entire world. Six. So you can see what mountain that we're climbing, we're climbing to make it set. We can do amazing. exactly the same thing with you hearing people can do. We just have to work like quadruple oh, harder. Wow. So by having your support to push us up there, you're going to see a whole lot of things. You got now DeMarco. Went awesome. Love this guy. Okay? So. We're going to get him in here too. Okay? So y'all just watch for that. Okay? Y'all just, y'all just keep. You won't follow follow someone else. Follow me. <laughs> and that's Pauline Creates. At, and that's on everything. And I mean everything. Um, except for, I think, uh, YouTube. I am Pauline the uh, Creative Activist. Oh, but cool. that is so dope. I am like inspired. Do, do you, and this show, like, okay. So this show, this right here, this show, um, it it just this this is my why. You know, people say why 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 why. This is my why. Mm -hmm. He is living his purpose. That is amazing. And then I have a stage, a platform where I can show the world that look look at God. You want to know where the church is? Look at the people of the people in your midst who are doing the work that they're supposed to be doing. They are doing it. They're really out there. And he's here, <coughs> like live, L I V E person. You know, not not we're not watching through another medium. You know, which is what happens the most mm -hmm. time, right? You know, you have to have captions. You have to have something. No, you can see him, and he's signing, and he's talking to all of you. So, I am going to be the first person here to buy this. I'm Thank buying you. this. I'm buying this CD. Look, look, look. She over there talking about some the sick girl talking about some she buying it too. Yes. Let me tell you something else, okay? Let me tell you about God, okay? So we talked about her. We talked about him. And she don't know what I'm about to do what I'm about to do. So I actually want to tell you that, you know, many of you know that I recently just came back like yesterday from the UK. And um, it's really, it's because of that woman right there. She made that possible for me wow. to be able to go to the UK because I'm not rich. I may even look like it. Me either. <laughs> but um, by God's ultimate hand and her obedience, she allowed me <coughs> through her resources to go. And she can also, you know, write that off on her, on her taxes. But, understand, she is, is, is such an inspiration, too, okay? So you just never know who's watching. I didn't even know she was watching me because she was mad She was mad with me. And I only met her one time in real life, understand? We were just Facebook friends, okay? Seriously, but you can piss, you can, excuse me, you can piss people off in Facebook land, okay? Without even realizing it, you know what I'm saying? So... You just never know. You just never know. Just ask. You have not because you ask not. 
Right. And Nikar, the hearing person. Right. So. Sorry. Yes. And that that is that is the God that we serve. Connections, mm. connections, connections. Exactly. You only need one person. Oh, one is all you need to start. It's a pebble called the ripple effect. Oh. But when you band together, yeah. that's a that's together, <laughs> bam, that's a tidal wave. Do y'all a see that? Wave. Everybody, we all, that, that tidal wave, we're going to be salt. We're going to be S-A-L-T, right? Yeah. Salt, because when you take salt and you spread it, right, you just spread it on a little slug, what happens? It goes like this, right? Mm-hmm. So you, with your tongue, with your words, with your, you know, your positivity, your spirit, your energy, be like him. He's energy. Y'all know him. Y'all know it. Y'all know Wawa. Wow, wow. He'll give you the energy. You just spread that and watch. Just watch the world just transform itself. Mm-hmm. That's what this is about. And so, right now, you have two minutes. Well, we have, we have one minute and 30, 30 seconds. Um, to tell the world, you have two minutes, might as well really one minute, to tell the world to buy your CD. And I am going to sit here and be your cheerleader, okay? <laughs> but can, can we play something else? Can we play the one that I like? Um, the one that um, I saw with, the, with the, 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 the video? Vendetta? Yes, that's the one. Oh, you can't? We got time for that. Okay, well. Check this out. He about to just come on, watching you. Okay. All right. Come on. So here's the thing. If you go to diphopwawa.com, you see everything there. The physical store is there. Digital will be announced later on this week. So you can hurry up and get it because this is going to be awesome. So when the music video starts to be more released, it's going to be ah, <laughs> mind blowing. Okay. <laughs> we have dancers. We have people who can dance really good. Yes. Um, I'm a professional dancer, so I know my stuff. So, <laughs> and I'm just going to keep blessing you, educating about deaf cultures, hip-hop, and all that other stuff. And some things just really need to be discussed out in the open for all of you guys to understand. Welcome to the deaf world. God bless. Wild Wild World, y'all. Thank you for listening. You are listening to Pauline Rosemore on WBGR Online. And I thank you for watching us. Stay tuned. Next week, we'll have Lucinda Cross. And she is a motivator. We call her the activator because yeah, she has an activator um, conference coming up on the 20th and 21st. The 20th and 21st? Yeah. It's a Monday and a Tuesday. So if you look at your calendar... All of y'all who need empowerment and you want to empower other people, then you need to show up. Show up, seriously. Your wife needs to be there, seriously. And any deaf who wants to go, I don't mind interpreting. You just got to let me know, okay? And, and she, don't, she, she don't mind if I'm over here volunteering. <laughs> she don't mind either, okay? That's what we're here for. We are here to be communication door openers, okay? And bridge builders, all right? So, we love y'all. God bless. Follow us. Pauline Creates and Wawa's World on Facebook, okay? Love y'all. Peace. Love you guys. Thanks. Awesome. I will that respond later. <laughs> <laughs> that was dope.